Hola. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome, you guys. I'm so excited for today. Not really. You guys see the mess. It's, uh, this was actually filmed weeks ago and I have not been able to edit and get this up for you guys, but I'm happy and I'm excited to get it done for you today. Um, so if you are new, welcome. My name is Rosa and I am a mama of three boys, one that's off to college several states away, one that's uh, enrolled in the local state college living at home, and then I have a 14 year old who is a freshman in high school and my husband travels quite a bit for work. So I think this time, this video, again, this was filmed maybe a couple months ago, to be honest. Um, he was home um, for a little bit to kind of help me with some things with my mom. Um, my mom is um, 82 years old and she is fighting cancer and also a broken leg, also fighting dementia. Um, and just, you know, everything that comes with being 82 years old. Um, she's a fighter, but she's got her moment. So uh, he was home to help me out with her for a little bit. Um, and so he brought Ruby Roo home. So if you guys, uh, you guys will see her crate here um, or there. Um, yeah, you're going to see it in today's video because it's upstairs. Um, but uh, so Ruby Roo is my husband's dog. She travels with him wherever he goes. Uh, so when he goes home to Ohio to go to work, um, he takes her back with him. So she's kind of like his road dog, his road buddy. And that was the purpose of getting her. So I'm really excited for that, um, that he has someone on the road with him or his companion on the road with him and he's not alone. So um, he has something to talk to. Um, but I also work out of the home and I also provide you guys with cleaning content here and also um, a, a vlogging channel of just what's going on with my life and up to dates with everything with the kids and things of that nature. So if you're ever wanting to know more about me, please go check it out over there. Um, today's video, because all of this is an older video, um, I did post on my community tab and also my Instagram page um, that I was going to do a QA. and a And uh, I got a few questions. And so I'm going to go ahead and answer those in today's video. Um, but before we get there, I just wanted to... Uh, welcome you guys and thank you for those who continue to come back and support my channel. Um, this channel is steadily <laughs> growing. Um, we see progress and then we see regression. We take a few step forwards and then a few leave. But it's okay. It's totally fine. But I do have a goal to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm hopeful that will happen. Um, you know, fighting this... this uh, algorithm this YouTube algorithm it's a beast y'all it's a beast and it's not fun um and I have my moments and although I should not allow it to get me down it has uh because I want to I, I work so hard into editing and making sure that I um try to change the angles for you guys and all that good jazz I mean I <sighs> You guys know I, I work my tail off on this channel, but um, it's it's sad to see it regress. Uh, if you guys didn't know, um, I also have a like to know it app. I upload um, as much of everything that I use. I've been working on posting more things over there, so everything that is there, I have. I have purchased with my own money. I will not link anything that I have not purchased or have not fallen in love with from a brand. Um, and so I've got some things I need to add on there because I have had um, a few things given to me by brands and one of them will be shown in today's video. Um, but uh, I have had some things given to me and I absolutely love them and I want it just to make it easier um, to link it there. So. Again, welcome. And today is a long video. It is a 50 minute video, but filled with motivation and cleaning. So let's get started. We've got a lot to do.
to start off with just a couple of questions that were asked over on Instagram and of course, Mandy. Oh, Mandy, which is my favorite Moo Moo. Um, so let's do a little backstory on this Moo Moo situation. So when Mandy and I met, <laughs> we've met over YouTube many years ago. I say many years ago, a couple years ago. And we just became super close friends. Um, we talk all the time. We have a podcast as well. If you guys didn't know, that is a crying podcast. So if you like dark humor, some funnies, um, but um, some stories of unsolved and solved cases, please go check it out. It's called Crime Secrets with me and Dean Rosa. We're getting back into it. We took the summer off. We're going to get back into recording in the fall. So that is coming up very soon. So stay tuned and stay plugged in. We're located all over anywhere you can listen to a podcast. So I'm just telling y'all. Anyway, so when I met Mandy, I remember FaceTiming her from time to time and she'd always have a moo moo on. And I'm like, dude, how old are you? And she would get on me. She goes, don't, don't bash the moo moo. Join the club. And I said, I would never, ever buy a moo moo. I sleep in shirts and shorts. That's it. And so when we went on our girls trip um, last year or the beginning of this year, no, last year, uh, we met up in Virginia Beach and that video was hysterical. You guys, if you guys have been around, y'all know that's over on my vlogging channel. And she also has a video up on her channel, um, on her vlogging channel as well of our trip to uh, Virginia Beach. She gifted me a moo moo. And I about dad, I said, Mandy, I am never wearing this moo moo. But I did. And I was hooked. <laughs> so, <laughs> um... And I've been hooked ever since. So every time a new pattern comes out, I'm buying a Moo Moo. They're like the best seven or eight dollar investments, y'all. Um, so which is my favorite one? I like them all. I really do. But my favorite one, I, let me just go back. If I had to choose a favorite one, it would have to be the one that she she got me because she's the one that got me started on these dang on Moo Moo's. And so that is my favorite one and is it has it ran its course probably because i wear it to death i just won't get rid of it so mandy my favorite moo moo is the one that you got me because it started this moo moo trend and yeah thank you mandy going on to another question off of Instagram. This one is from my sweet friend, Eva. Now, you guys have never really heard me talk about her. I think I talked about her once before on my vlogging channel when she did something with my hair. So Eva is um, the hairstylist to the stars, y'all. Um, she does hair makeup for um, QVC and um, all of those little shopping networks and she has done makeup for um, celebrities uh, for um, I think it was Atlanta Housewives so when I say that I've got me someone in my corner that is famous Lord and she worked on me yes yes I did <laughs> so Eva had asked um, if I have any content coming up and any suggestions on garage storage and cleaning videos because um, she needs some help. Eva, I need some help, girl. Our garage has become the dumping ground ever since we were kind of just getting everything ready and shifted for Cameron to leave for college. Um, but I do have um, some tips and some ideas for you, girl. So I would just say take each section, and this is what I tell everyone, take each section of your garage 
with intent um, and slowly declutter. Get rid of what you don't want, but you make sure you put it where you are going to take it to the goodwill or get rid of it right away. Because what we become and what we do best is right when we clean up a space, we don't get rid of everything. We just leave it there and it just adds to it. So it's like, what was the purpose of us spending all of that time and sweat? <laughs> and if you're in Florida right now, y'all know there's a severe heat advisory. I mean, I know it's all over the, uh, the States, um, but it is hotter than it's ever been here in Florida where it will say the temperature is like 89 or 99 or 98, but it feels like it's in the triple digits. And that is crazy 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 so I can't wait for it to finally cool off here in Florida so that I can not sweat while I'm outside and I have um, I do have to clean up my, my garage so Eva stay tuned for that but again girl take it one section at a time with intent make sure that it's whatever you do not use you get rid of what you have not grabbed for get rid of and let's say six months to a year get rid of it we don't need it and the one thing that I would say is make sure all your storage bins are all alike because it makes the space look so much better and so much cleaner. Every time I close my eyes So now that majority of all of my clothes have been put away, I don't have any more laundry in the bedroom that I can remember. <laughs> trying to think of what, how much, nope, I think I've got more I need to put away. But now that I've got majority of it done, um, and um, oh gosh, you guys, this is just, this this closet is so small, but it is it is big, right? It's a big small, small big. I, I'm able to fit all of my junk in here, but I just always feel like I don't have enough space. Maybe I just need to stop shopping. But what's the fun in that, right? What's the fun in that? So we're gonna continue putting away laundry so that we can move on to the rest of this room and get it cleaned with vacuuming and um, so that I can also show you my new gadget. So again, make sure you guys go check my Like to Know It app or the Like to Know It link. It is linked in the description box. So it'll take you straight there. Um, again, that's where I'm gonna post everything. I do not have an Amazon storefront. Um, so on my Like to Know It app, you can get, I, I do get like a small percentage back um, from it. That's if you guys need anything or desire anything or see something that I, I don't know. I just thought I might as well just do something there because one, when I started my Amazon storefront, it wasn't being nice. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to play into this mess of trying to figure out my life with Amazon storefront. So <laughs> the like to know it app is so much easier for me to maneuver and post because you guys know I'm not techie. I ain't techie, but I will manage. I will figure it out. So we're going to continue. Uh, go check that app out. So um, again, if you, there's anything that you want or see or need, go check it out. I will continue to post more things over there.
as you guys can see, my ceiling fan needed to get a good cleanup. So I did whatever, what is this called? Vacuuming. It needed to get all the dust bunnies off of there. I do need to go up there and really wipe down the blades, but I noticed that there was a lot of dust on there collecting and I needed to clean it. So that's what I did. Um, and I, I'm so, you guys tell me so many times, Rosa, use an old pillowcase. Y'all, these are vaulted ceilings and I ain't doing that. <laughs> um, so no, no ma'am. Thank you. I will continue just to be lazy and stretch my arms up to reach this, the, the blades. <laughs> but I'm also going to sit here and um, clean off my desk and clean out my drawers, organize them a little bit. You guys can see my desk is a hot mess. But when is it never or ever? Like it's always, it's always a hot mess. My desk is my dropping spot along with it to the right of it. Like, there's so much stuff that I need to, if y'all hear that bell, that's Penny scratching herself. She always picks like the right time and now she's staring at me. So anyway, we're going to clean up my desk and organize my drawers. And while I do that, I'm going to answer another question. This came off of my community tab over on uh, YouTube, this channel. Um, and this one is from my sweet friend, Kathy. She says, I know you're busy with so much going on. Are you taking care of you? I'm trying. Uh, I am trying. I have baseball season is, is done for right now. And I've been taking advantage of my Saturdays by sleeping in. Um, I've started um, visiting with a doctor, a nurse practitioner in regards to my hormones and this thing called menopause because um, I'm struggling big time. I am getting back on the Peloton, um, trying to do some workouts here and there, but to be honest, my mental is still astray um, because of everything thrown at me in regards to just life and my mom. And I just, so I'm not truly taking care of myself, but I'm trying really, 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 really hard. Um, I do come home from work and just crawl into bed. I'll, I'll do dinner and then if, you know, I'll go straight to bed. Um, so the cleaning doesn't get done during the week. A, a small tidy may happen in regards to dishes. And now that school's back in, you know, just, um, we don't have time to clean throughout the day. So I'm, I'm trying. Thank you, Miss Kathy for, for asking me that because, you know, I, I know that I have lost myself in this process of healing or trying to heal um, and maneuvering. And um, I'll get more into that in a little bit because someone asked about my mom. So I'll let you guys know about that in just a bit. But I'm trying, Kathy, and I love you so much for, for being that um, person in my inbox, uh, my sliding into my DMs and just checking in on me and there's been several of you and I appreciate you guys so very much um you know being a caretaker to my mom and just dealing with life and it has not been easy as you guys can see I'm drinking a hard seltzer so hmm. oh well <laughs>
So another question was asked in regards to our Crime Secrets podcast. Is there like an app um, or YouTube uh, for your Crime Secrets show? So as of right now, we are staying with um, podcast. So if you have, um, what is it? Um, heart, I heart, I think it's called I heart radio. Um, anywhere that there is a podcast channel where you can listen to podcasts, all you have to do is search crime secrets with Rosa and Mandy or Mandy and Rosa, sorry, crime secrets with Mandy and Rosa. Um, I will pop up the new art here for you guys. Uh, so you can look for that because we did change the art, um, for the channel. Um, we, have talked about it. We've created something for YouTube, but we have not pulled the trigger, taken the plunge to really utilize that. So we have talked about it, meaning Mandy and I have talked about um, uh, doing something outside of outside of Instagram. But to be honest, with her and I working full time and everything else that we are doing in life, she's going to be a, a new grandmama soon. Um, she's a lovey. That's what we call her lovey. Um, and, um, you know, with me being my mom's caretaker and my kids and all that other stuff, all the extra things in life, um, we don't have any more space <laughs> or possibly any more energy to really, really do that. And as much as we would love to, we would love to, cause we talk about it all the time. We would love to, for you guys to see our reactions because we talk about it. It's, it's hard to really follow along. Um, when we talk about our, our reactions to one another, um, uh, it would be so cool for you guys to see it, but anything outside of podcast, there isn't anything else as of right now, but we will continue to talk about this and try something soon, I think, I hope. So I'm really hoping that you guys are enjoying today's video. If you are still with me 30 minutes and you guys are amazing, you guys, your, your support's always, always welcomed and just appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my new gadget. Now, by this point, if you guys have been here for quite some time, y'all know I've gotten quite a few vacuums, but I'm really excited about this one because my husband needed a new vacuum in Ohio and he happened to be home when this came and he goes, wait a minute, why did you order another vacuum? I said, no, bruh, this was sent to me and it's yours now. And so he was ecstatic and uh, it has worked really well. I used it throughout this entire video. If you guys have noticed, um, I needed to, to just give you guys a glimpse of it. This was sent to me and I was just so happy to be able to gift it to him so that he has something for himself in Ohio. Now he does have the shark vacuum, but it's always good to have something that's cordless and easy just to go and grab um, and not have to worry about plugging in. And so I still have mine. 
I have a total of four vacuums. Now, don't get me for this, but um, I have a cordless one downstairs. I have a cordless one in my bedroom because it, I need a vacuum upstairs. Um, and then we still have our shark, which is a plug-in. And then we also have our roaming one. Um, and I run that throughout the week from time to time. So again, because I don't have the time to vacuum or clean, I'll just push the start button on that bad boy and it just goes and it does its job for me. So I don't have to worry about vacuuming or doing anything only on the weekends. And so um, I will try to find this um, vacuum for you guys and link it as well over my like to note if you guys are needing something simple. This, it, it worked wonderful. Um, if I didn't have all 1500 of mine, I would have kept this, but I knew that he needed one and um, I gift it to him so he, he could have, and he's been using it and loving it himself um, in Ohio. Um, so now I am shampooing my carpets. Uh, they need it bad. Um, they need to get cleaned again because my room is a hot mess and the carpet, there's a stain on it yikes so i need to get it cleaned again um but i just i hope that you guys are enjoying today's video and receiving the motivation that you're here for um again if this is your first time ever clicking on my channel and you're uh, wondering who the heck is this lady um as i said at the beginning my name is rosa and um i'm a work out of the home mom and i work from home meaning i do youtube um i'm always on the go i forget about taking care of myself but here's the thing that's what life is all about out, right um, at least for moms that are busy um, and even dads that are busy uh, you know we f we tend to forget about ourselves that you know taking care of what's important either from health to dental to physical mental spiritually we always forget about something so I'm going to take Miss Kathy's advice and really take care of myself I'm working towards that I um, it's hard but I'm working towards it and um, I hope you all are, are doing the same. Um, and if not, listen to what Ms. Kathy said. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Now, don't worry about the little fuzz balls on the ground. I did go back and pick those up, um, but we're into the bathroom. And as you guys can see, this is a mess, a hot mess to be exact. So we need to uh, clean the shower, change the shower curtain, um, just clean everything up in here. So if you guys are needing some bathroom motivation, bathroom motivation, y'all, here you go. It is a full platter of poo poo. <laughs> it's just a hot mess, a hot ass mess. Anyway, so we got to get this all cleaned up, uh, scrubbing the toilet, cleaning up the sinks, everything. So um, if you guys are needing it, here you go. Here you go. Let's get into uh, cleaning this bathroom.
here is another little gadget that was sent to me and I've used it a lot. You see my face? The excitement of trying this product out was on a whole nother level. You guys know that this shower is so awkward and I cannot wait to renovate this bathroom or at least a shower. It is so small, the tile is old. It gets dirty so bad, there's no ventilation, so I'm always wiping down the ceiling in here because of all the mildew. I just, it, it drives me bonkers. This shower drives me bonkers, so I needed something. And this company reached out to me and I was like, wait a minute, um, yeah, let's give it a whirl, and fell in love with this product. I have already linked this, or something very similar to this one, over on the Like to Know It app. So you guys, go check them out. You will love it too. It is great for a good surface clean, even potentially a deep clean if you wanna press down on it. Um, it is something that does need to stay charged. Um, it doesn't have to stay charged, but it has to get charged for you to use it. So um, I love this thing, it helps me clean out the tub, the shower, the walls, the ceiling, all of it. So if you're needing something um, to help you with your back or not having to bend over quite a bit, I have lower back issues. I was involved in a car accident um, maybe three, four years ago, and I still from time to time get lower back issues, especially when I'm you know, deep cleaning something, just my back will, will hurt. And um, so to the point where I get back spasms and I've noticed when I would clean my shower and also clean up the tub, my lower back would start getting sore and start hurting. So this has saved my back a thousand times. Like every time I've used it, I thank it because it is amazing. So I do have that linked over there. Um, go check it out. I've actually had this for quite some time. I wanna say about three months. Um, and the company actually didn't want me to post it because they weren't ready to do something. I'm like, wait a minute, this is so good. Like I can't just hold back. So I'm doing it anyway. So, um, and they haven't even reached it back out to me in regards to when we can. And don't worry about don't worry, don't don't be alarmed about my brazier. Hopefully you guys are not um, <laughs> my brazier. I mean, this is the hook where everything goes, right? And I forgot that I had my brazier there. I think I catch it towards the tail end of today's video when I finish cleaning up, but yeah, anyway. So um, this was actually before I had moved the dog crates out of the closet. So again, this was filmed a while back um, and I had not um, moved the, uh, at this time had not moved the dogs out. So um, if you're wondering like, wait, did she put the dogs back? No, they're still under the sink. They're still not in the crates. The crates are put away and they're loving life. And um, yeah, they're just loving life. So let's get back into cleaning this bathroom. So 
call me sneaky. So I was cleaning the shower and I was all excited and the hubs comes in and it's like, what is going on? I said, you've got to try this. He did. He liked it. I walked away. He says, wait a minute. What are you doing? I said, oh, you want to clean the shower for me? That's fantastic. So I, I had him clean the shower for me. Sorry, honey. Sorry, had to do it because you know how much I hate cleaning that shower. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I hate cleaning that shower. I cannot wait to demolish that bad boy and make it bigger and use things that are easier to clean. So um, I'm gonna jump into the last question that I got. Um, and this is gonna be a little bit because you guys know my heart when it comes to this. So. Um, wonderful wonderful uh subscriber i i don't know your name unless you have told me and i just don't remember and it, you know my memory never serves me well so it's from Sha shamagana i want to say I'm so sorry um but the question was how are you doing and how is your mom so i've already answered how i'm doing the question about my mom so my mom has finally been discharged from the CLC. It's called Community Living Community Living Center. And uh, she was there. She received chemo treatment. She received her final um, radiation treatment. And I'm going to post a picture uh, here so you guys can see her graduation. Um, but she has, she's a fighter. I've said this a thousand times and I'll continue to say it. My mom's a fighter. Um, she is still uh, struggling with her leg um, because she broke it uh, back in May. And we have PT set up for her at the house. We're also working on getting OT for her and also a nurse to come out to her. So she's been home now for about three days and she's loving it where she's not in a hospital room is what it was essentially a, a living center um, because uh, she was non weight bearing on her knee and on her leg. She still isn't. She's not allowed to put any pressure on that leg because they did not do an actual surgery. They just did a knee mobilizer because her bones are pretty brittle already from all the chemo and the radiation and also she had severe arthritis in both of her knees um, she's doing really good she's on heart medication because she did um, have a trauma related heart attack from her fall um, so I don't know if I told you guys that but she had a, a heart attack from her fall so she's on quite a bit of medication um, but she's doing really good um, she's looking forward to just getting back to life. I mean, her house looks like um, a medical facility with the porta potty, I guess that's what you call it. <laughs> I don't know if that's called. Um, a wheelchair, two, two walkers, her cane, um, everything. And um, my brother and I and his wife got on a, on a we agreed on um, splitting the time up if we could. So Monday through Thursday, because her home is on the way home from my job, I will stop by, check her mail, help her get in the shower, um, getting her ready for bed to take her night pills. And then, so I do that Monday through Thursday. Um, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, my brother and his wife, my sister-in-law, who I absolutely love, um, goes over there and helps her out, makes sure she eats dinner, either brings her dinner, cooks her dinner, something, or, you know, cook something that she already has. And so, um, she's, you know, they've been extremely helpful lately and hopefully will continue because this is a long, long journey, um, when it comes to her and her well being and her care mentally, spiritually, and also physically. Um, she is a fighter and I've said that before. And like I said, I'll say it again. My mother is a fighter and, um, she needs as much support as she can in her corner to remind her of that. And, um, so I'm just beyond thankful for the help that we've already received from the care facility. Um, but also in regards to my sister-in-law, um, and also my brother who's gone over there to help out with her, because to be honest, if it was all on me, I would not be sane. I would not be sane. And I'm so thankful for them. But that is just a little bit of how my mom is doing.
Anyway, 
So we are just about done with this bathroom. It is cleaned. It is cleaned. Can't say that's what it looks like now. <laughs> it is not cleaned right now, but it was cleaned in this video. It was clean in this video. Um, and I'm also going to show you some afters here in a little bit. And I want to thank you guys so much for being here and for um, engaging with me over on the community tab and also on my Instagram page um, for asking questions. I love doing um, things like this. I don't get to do them often or at all, actually. I think my last video I did was whew, a few years ago, a couple years ago. Um, it was a while ago. Um, and I, I think it's always so cool to answer questions um, to those who have questions to ask and so thank you guys for cooperating and engaging with me I'm going to steam up this floor and show you some afters and I am in love with how my room looks when it's all nice and done it's so cozy the warm colors that are coming back in with the burnt orange and stuff I love it um, I've actually have added some more stuff to my walls. I think I've shown you guys that, probably not, but I will show you in an upcoming video because I gotta clean my room again. And I'm putting up new blinds in that video, so um, stick around for that. And if you enjoy videos such as this, long and short videos, because I do them both, um, please make sure you are subscribed, share today's video, like, Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you're notified for future uploads. Um, and let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you're cleaning with me. I love, I love engaging with you guys when it comes to that. Um, I've been staying up on my comments. So by the time this video is up, all of my comments are up to date, hopefully. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are up to. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Much love and God bless.